Now, yesterday marked the one-month countdown until the start of the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. And besides all the excitement and anticipation, there is also an air of skepticism about whether the city and country are ready to deliver the global showpiece. CCTV's Lucretia Franco tells us why there is still room for concerns ahead of the opening ceremony. Is Rio ready? The answer to that question may depend on where you look. In the heart of Copacabana, Olympic fever has struck with the opening of the first official Olympic mega store. Some are worried that so-called Olympic fever may turn literal because of Zika virus concerns. Several athletes have pulled out of competition, including the world's top-ranked golfer, Jason Day. It's uh, obviously a pretty big statement for me and, and my team to obviously pull from the Olympics and um, with the understanding of what's going on down there with regards to the, the Zika virus. Medical experts say Zika infections are less of a risk during the Olympics because it's winter in Brazil. Brazil's health minister, Ricardo Barros, is overseeing preparation efforts. Todas as medidas aqui no Brasil estão tomadas. Brazil has taken all the necessary prevention measures. We want the international community to know about that, and we will continue to hold more meetings at the capital in Brasilia to inform ambassadors from all competing countries about the current situation. Others are concerned about the health of Olympic sailors. Several waterways where competitions will take place are clouded by pollution, an unresolved issue that officials plan to temporarily solve with barriers to prevent waste entering the water venues. And just last week, in front of the Olympic Beach Volleyball Arena, human body parts washed ashore. There are also political and economic concerns. Amid the turmoil surrounded suspended President Dilma Rousseff, interim President Michel Temer, country is ready. He has pledged to help states like Rio de Janeiro, which just weeks ago declared a state of financial emergency. Rio's state government says critical projects will be completed on time. That includes expanded subway lines. Still, there's little room for error, as one of the main lines is set to open just four days before the opening ceremony. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.